Understanding Raise the Dead in English. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, raise the dead. This phrase might sound a bit mysterious or even spooky, but it's a fascinating part of the English language. We're going to explore its meaning, origins, and how it's used in everyday conversation. So, let's get started and unravel the mystery of this intriguing phrase. Raise the dead primarily refers to the supernatural concept of bringing someone back to life after they have passed away. In many cultures and religious texts, this idea is linked with miraculous powers or divine intervention. However, in everyday English, this phrase is often used metaphorically. It means to revive something from the past or to renew interest in something that has been forgotten or ignored. For example, the new movie raised the dead interest in the superhero genre. The phrase has its roots in religious texts and folklore, where it is taken literally. Throughout history, stories of miracles often included characters or deities with the power to bring the dead back to life. In modern times, while the literal meaning is less commonly believed, the phrase still holds a powerful and dramatic connotation. In contemporary English, raise the dead is used in various contexts. For instance, in literature and media, it might be used to describe a plot where characters attempt or succeed in bringing someone back to life. In everyday speech, it's a hyperbolic way to describe something extremely difficult or impossible. Like, getting him to wake up early is like trying to raise the dead. This phrase also holds a significant place in English idioms and expressions. It's often used to highlight the impressive or surprising nature of an event or action. For example, a band's comeback performance might be described as so lively, it could raise the dead. I hope this exploration of the phrase, raise the dead, has been enlightening. It's a great example of how English can be colorful and rich in meaning, often drawing from history and culture. Thank you for watching, and remember, language learning is a journey. Enjoy every step. See you in the next video.